clinician at Ask Away Health, the online video health channel. And I'm so glad you've joined me today. I've got an interesting topic to look at with you today, and it's about airport x-ray scanners. And are they safe or do they pose any risk to us when we travel? Now, as we, everybody knows, um, the risk of terrorist activities has increased worldwide, and so security has tightened across airports, whether you're traveling internationally or locally. One of the things that you'd expect as a traveler is to pass through a body scanner or have one of those handheld devices waved across your body, um, because we know we're trying to detect things that could put us at risk or cause harm, including firearms or knives or explosives or, or drugs or whatever it is that people um, are not supposed to carry that could cause harm to others um, as, as, as we travel. So we assume that because these scanners are in general use, of course they should be safe, shouldn't they? So let's have a look and see what exactly is behind, um, is behind them. Now, the scanners are used as secondary screening devices. So they are an alternative to a physical body search, right? Now, there are two types generally in use across the world at the moment. There's the backscatter X-ray scanners. I know I have to remember that name, backscatter X-ray scanners. And the second type is the millimeter wave scanner. Both of them are full body scanners used in screening areas of airports across the world, okay? The next thing to remember is that the scanners send low, low-level X-rays towards the body. Their purpose is to reveal any items hidden under the clothing or next to the body. Okay. Now, for the millimeter wave scanner, it uses low-level um, X-rays or radio frequency waves to take pictures of the body. So, no radiation dose is actually given into the body. The energy produced by the scanners is not enough to damage the cells or the DNA. Okay, so that's really important to note. The second type, the back scatter X-ray machine, is similar to the hospital X-ray machine, but it delivers a much lower dose of radiation. And the other thing that's special about the back scatter X-rays is that while the hospital X-rays pass through the body to create the X-ray image, the back scatter um, machines only scatter or bounce off the body. The rays from the machine only scatter or bounce off the body to create a 2D image of the outside of the body. So the fundamental questions that we ask are things like, will these scanners, can they increase the risk of developing cancer? And that's no, because like we've said, they do not go into the body. They cannot um, um, cause abnormality or change to the cell types or DNA. Um, they cannot affect pregnant women or their babies. So in that sense, Technically, they are safe. The other thing to remember as well is, is the, the, the intensity of the radiation that these machines deliver. Research suggests that 100 of the backscatter x-rays will deliver the same dose as one, one dental x-ray. Okay. Another thing to think about is actually, on a daily basis, we're exposed to the sunlight and other naturally occurring radioactive materials. And that's just as we go about our day-to-day -day activities. Now think about it as well. Air flights, air travel, being on board and in, in, in transit in the air, also deliver more radiation to people than when on the ground. And estimates that we know suggest that for somebody flying in a commercial flight, you actually receive an equivalent dose, right? An equivalent radiation dose, the same as 30, as what you get from 30 backscatter x-rays for every one hour in the air. Let me just say that again. So if you're on board, you're flying from A to B, while you're in the air, within one hour, you get the same exposure to radiation as what you would if you went through 30 backscatter X-ray scanning machines, okay? So that means basically you can safely pass through the scanners without worrying about cancer or worrying about um, if you were pregnant, for example, this, the, the, the radiation affecting you or the baby. With that said, Please don't forget, remember I said it's an alternative to physical body search. If you're uncomfortable going through the scanner, you can always decline for health reasons and request to have a physical search instead. So that's a little bit of what I have on airport scanners today, and I hope that helps to clarify the issue for some people. Now, if you have any views or some alternative ideas on this or any questions, please send in to us. It would be, be lovely to hear from you. Send us an email on info at askawayhealth.org, okay? And myself or one of our other clinicians will be really um, happy to come back to you and respond to your questions or comments. Um, special thanks to our new subscribers. We are so glad to have you joining the Ask Away community. We appreciate your time. Um, and if there are any questions or any topics you'd like us to cover on the channel, please send us um, some information. Write it out in the comments and we'll, get back, we'll get back to you on those. 
And if it's the first time that you're watching us on this channel, subscribe, please subscribe, like the video if you found it really helpful and share it, help us grow. Um, so that's it for today. I hope you, everybody has a lovely day and I look forward to seeing you again next time on the channel.